Today, I am taking you courtside to the Professional Pickleball Association Skechers Invitational Summer Championships right here in the Pacific Palisades at the Riviera Country Club. It's a new year, a new you, and maybe the new you is a rock star. To help bring out your inner star, School of Rock has programs for all ages to help bring your dreams to reality. What do we have in the box? What's the weirdest donut you got? A glazed crony. What do you love about donuts? Uh, well, just being a chubby guy, every day is National Donut Day. Why limit it to one day? Let's exactly. celebrate all year long. There's always more to the story than what meets the eye, especially when you're talking about Hollywood. And right now, there's over 160,000 union actors and writers on strike. That strike is affecting more than just the people on the picket lines. I'm Juliette Lamar here in North Hollywood where we are at a local prop store talking to them about how this strike is affecting their business. Everybody was screaming about, hey, we don't get good tacos. So Now they're going to be screaming, we have the best tacos. Yeah, absolutely. Troop has 75 scouts. 75 scouts, 75 years. Yep. Got it right. We got one every year. Eight thousand square feet of pristine ice an unlimited adventure awaits in downtown santa monica at this year's ice we are out here at la fashion week 2022 mm, all right <laughs> i'm feeling centered now i can fit in there you just carry me uh, just one second i'm just gonna get who are you wearing i got this at a thrift store which coast makes the best bagels, the East Coast or the West Coast? This feud is fiercer than mid-90s hip-hop, and today we are talking with a West Coast baker who is turning up the heat on the bagel scene. Jonah's Kitchen is a community gathering place full of heart and soul, and you can really taste it in the food. Today, we interview Chef Jonah all about this incredible vibey restaurant. And here he is right here. Jonah's Kitchen is an elevated, fast, casual restaurant located in Santa Monica, led by Chef Jonah Johnson. I always had a fascination with food, with fire, ingredients. I never planned to become a professional chef, but um, I guess when I realized being a rock star wasn't really paying the bills, I had opportunities and so I uh, took them. The menu features California-inspired wood-fire-grilled organic dishes with a Latin and Caribbean flair. You can truly taste the craftsmanship and love in each bite. That yearly comes from home. We bring friends, family, new people, and and we've always had a you know particular vibe at my family's home growing up. The inspiration is people getting together, good food, music a lot of laughter, really spreading love. One of my favorite parts of these incredible dishes was the variety of unique sauces, most of which are made in-house. I don't like to play around too much with ingredients, unless it comes to sauces, because I think that time is very important when it comes to sauce. Some sauces are made like that, and they're just, and they're just great. But, for instance, my pirate sauce. There's a lot of different ingredients that go into it. That's not the hard part. The hard part is then realizing that it takes time to just slowly simmer away hours. Whether you're looking to grab a quick bite, have a date night, or a night out with friends, Jonah's Kitchen welcomes you with open arms and delicious food that will leave you feeling like a part of the family. There is a new rising star on the forefront of fashion and inclusion, 18-year-old Tammy Eugenio Ferreira. Last year, Tammy became the first ever runway model with cerebral palsy to grace the stage at LA Fashion Week. Fashion is a tough industry, but Tammy isn't letting anything stand in her way, and she's here to tell you herself. Tammy's irresistible charm and spicy attitude caught the eye of streetwear designer Nicholas Mayfield, and since her debut in his 2021 runway show, they have become close friends. What was the most exciting part of walking in his show last year? Everything. Everything? <laughs> I'm happy to be here. 
Tammy and Mayfield return to LA Fashion Week this year with vibrant energy and a new custom outfit designed by Nicholas Mayfield and inspired by Tammy herself. So you are rocking this look. I want to do all eyes on me, so I put all eyes on her. What's your favorite part about it? You have the, the he does it? I love the hat. Yeah. It's so and, good. Oh, and the jacket? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. I can tell you're a fashionista. I am. It's clear that Mayfield and Tammy share a love of fashion and a wonderful friendship that goes beyond the designs. Yo, it's just God moves, so here we are. Success did not come easy. Tammy has had to work hard to get where she is today, defying doctors' diagnosis that she would never walk, talk, or sit. Tammy has spent countless hours in therapy and continues to break barriers with her ceaseless determination and dedication to her goals. She is currently pursuing her dreams in fashion, getting a higher education, and even learning to drive. And this is just the beginning of Tammy's journey. I cannot wait to see you out there on the runway again. Thank you. I'm coming back. It's a new year, a new you, and maybe the new you is a rock star. To help bring out your inner star, School of Rock has programs for all ages to help bring your dreams to reality. School of Rock is a performance-based music and education program, meaning... What separates School of Rock from everywhere else is we are performance-based music education. We combine in individual instruction with ensemble-based performances. One of the greatest pieces of feedback that we ever get from parents is parents say, I don't have to ask my student to practice. They want to come home and practice. That's because we are a song-first school. We teach kids songs right away. Through those songs, we teach them the rudiments and skills that they need to become proper musicians, but they have fun all along the way doing it. That means you are playing in a band at all levels of your musical journey. And there are programs for ages three and up. Classic music education is part of the curriculum, but it's done in a way that's engaging and fun for every student. One of the things that I always love to tell parents is if a kid wants to play guitar, it's not because the C major scale is awesome, it's because Eddie Van Halen and Slash are awesome. So we get them playing right away, and then we sneak in everything that they need to know. Your first 30 minute lesson is free. And while you're here, you can check out the Rock 101 or performance programs. So if you've been thinking about getting your musical journey started, come check out School of Rock, because at School of Rock, you're not just taking a lesson, you're joining a community of musicians, both educators and fellow students, developing a passion for rock and roll and live performance. We promise at School of Rock, you will have more fun learning your instrument and get better faster. So if you got a new instrument for Christmas or Hanukkah, come to School of Rock. You will get a free 30 minute trial lesson with one of our amazing professional musician instructors, as well as checking out our amazing Rock 101 or performance programs where you can join a band and start making your rock dreams a reality. 